By the end of 1774, many colonists were at their breaking point when it came to the actions of the British government in America. The coercive acts had been the final straw and the flashpoint that caused delegates from 12 of the 13 American colonies to meet in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania as members of the First Continental Congress. Between September 5th and October 26th, 1774, delegates discussed what to do about the many acts and taxes the British Parliament was placing on the colonies. The colonists believed the coercive acts had gone too far. These acts closed the port of Boston to all trade and supplies, restricted town meetings in Massachusetts, protected British officials from going to trial in Massachusetts courts, and required colonists to house British troops. Great Britain thought these acts would halt the colonial rebels in their tracks and force them to back down, but the opposite occurred. Other colonies sent supplies to Massachusetts, and the spirit of independence grew fiercer with each passing day. In the fall of 1774, every colony except Georgia sent delegates to Carpenter's Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in hopes of drafting a unified response to Great Britain. Georgia was in a precarious position at the time. They had become a wealthy colony thanks to trade with Great Britain and didn't particularly support getting on Britain's bad side. Additionally, the colony was facing conflict with American Indian tribes in the South and hoped to have the support of the British government in case a war broke out. With Georgia MIA, 56 delegates met on September 5, 1774. A man named Peyton Randolph was appointed as president of the First Continental Congress. Under his leadership, the delegates swiftly supported the Suffolk Resolves. These resolutions established a militia in the colonies, urged colonists to refuse to buy British goods and pay taxes, and to stop obeying the coercive acts. Delegates also discussed the Continental Association, which called for a ban on trade with Great Britain. Talk about a bold move! The American colonists were hoping that a blockade of trade would force the British government to repeal the Coercive Acts. Finally, the First Continental Congress issued a Declaration of Rights in October of 1774. In it, the delegates claimed that American colonists had the right to life, liberty, and property and that their rights should be protected the same as any other natural-born subjects of England. After 51 days of debate, members of the First Continental Congress went their separate ways, but not before agreeing to meet once again if Great Britain refused to listen to their concerns and respect their rights as British citizens. With rising tensions and a shot heard round the world only a few short months later, the delegates would find themselves face to face sooner than they realized with a war for the country's future already begun. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the like button to show some love. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, keep pursuing history.